Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are talking about the Gerber Center Drive Plus. Now this is Gerber's updated version to the original Center Drive which came out a couple of years ago. The, you know, when the Center Drive first came out it was kind of a rethink on how a multi-tool should be put together. So they kind of geared this towards the heavy use person. The guy who's going to be using this on the construction site or in the fabrication shop. This is a blue collar tool through and through in my opinion. It's not something that you're going to want to everyday carry because of its heft and its bulk. There are a few things that the center drive does and they do them very well. So I can tell you from experience on a construction site when I'm reaching for my multi-tool there's three things that more often than not I'm trying to access. Those would be the pliers, the driver, or the knife blade. And those are three things that Gerber put real emphasis on when designing the original center drive and it's carried over onto the center drive plus. Now there are some things that have changed on it that are for the better in my opinion. There's some other things that they didn't change that I wish they would address to make this multi-tool even better. So as I mentioned before it's very bulky. It comes in at 9.84 ounces with the regular multi-tool and if you add on the case and the extra bits that it comes with I have it at 14.92 ounces so it's very heavy and the only real way to carry this thing is going to be on the with the belt sheath on a belt overall length in its closed position is a full four and three quarters of an inch long and because of the lock mechanism here on the side it's actually a full two inches wide so it's very wide multi-tool and the overall thickness because of the protrusion of the driver itself it is a full one inch thick at its widest measurement. So let's get into the Gerber Center Drive Plus. One of the biggest changes that Gerber made with the Center Drive Plus is now they are including a very very nice leather case USA made leather case as a matter of fact. Nice rivets on the back good leather snap closure I really like this case a lot. It's a big improvement over the nylon and Velcro, Velcro closure case that they had on the original center drive. Also the bit configuration has changed a little bit. They give you 12 additional bits uh, apart from the two that come with the multi-tool itself for a combination of three Phillips drivers, two Robinson drivers, two Torx drivers, four flat drivers, and three Allen drivers. I think those that's a good combination of bits that come with this multi-tool for what it's designed for. Let's talk first about the namesake of the center drive and that is the outside accessible driver that when it's fully open lands in the center axis of the multi-tool. This is a very nice driver and it works very well. It's comfortable to use in its fully open position. The only thing that I have a complaint about is I wish that they had a stop here at the 90 degree position for those times when you need to get a little extra torque on a fastener. Apart from that, the driver itself is very well constructed, it's very robust, and it uses full dimensional bits. So you really get a good purchase on whatever fastener you're trying to loosen or tighten. The next tool on the outside of the Center Drive Plus is the knife blade. Now, the original center drive had a full length standard blade, uh, a full three inches. The blade length is still three inches, but now it's a combination blade. Normally, I'm not a big fan of combination blades. I just don't like them. But in this particular application, I think it works okay. It still gives you a, a good two inches of usable blade length, which is a decent enough blade. And then it gives you a, about an inch worth of serrated blade for those times when you need to get through rope or strap or you know different webbing different types of, of man-made materials I think the combo blade actually works okay in this particular multi-tool though I'm not a fan of it in other multi-tools whenever I think about Gerber the first thing that ultimately comes to mind are the one hand accessible pliers kind of the namesake or the calling card for Gerber is those sliding plier heads. They, they were kind of the inventor of those and it's one of the first thing that pops into my head whenever I think about Gerber. Now the plier head on the Center Drive and the Center Drive Plus are actually a bit stronger than what you're going to find in previous models of this design from Gerber. They 
inevitably they're going to have a little bit of flex because of the sliding mechanism. But these are actually pretty tight and, and fairly robust. Now they have a modified needle nose, not quite a needle nose, it's more of a, a blunt needle nose I guess, kind of a hybrid plier. I really like the plier design on these because they are very strong, they give you a good purchase on whatever you're trying to get a hold of. The needle nose are very aggressive on the teeth so you're able to really grab a hold of stuff. I really like the main pliers though because of the grip angle of the Center Drive Plus and because of the robustness of the pliers themselves you're really able to get a good purchase on nuts, bolts, or whatever else you're trying to grab onto and they're very comfortable to use. The fact that they are spring-loaded is kind of an added bonus when it comes to larger multi-tools that's neither a, a, a make or break situation for me but the, they are comfortable to use because of the fact that they are spring-loaded so that is another advantage for the Gerber Center Drive Plus. The one issue that I have with them though are the carbide cutters. Now when I did the original center drive video I actually fractured the carbide cutters on the center drive trying to cut through a an eight penny galvanized nail. Now I realize that these are not designed as hard wire cutters they're designed as soft wire cutters. The problem is they don't do that very effectively either and the reason for that is is because the cutters themselves are squared off they don't have any angle to them whatsoever so if they were to put like a five degree bevel in there they would actually make a lot better soft wire cutters so here I have just standard 14 gauge stranded wire and we're gonna try to cut that with the pliers themselves and you can see that it gets most of the way through but it doesn't quite penetrate the wire itself so you kinda have to force the rest of it open then if you get it into the notch on the back and you try to cut they're even worse and they just do not provide a very good cut at all so you really have to get it up there on the front side and you actually have to hit it a couple times in order to get through it so they're not the greatest software cutters either that's my really my only complaint about the pliers themselves or the carbide cutters now we're gonna flip around to the inside of the tool and a few of the tools that have stayed the same the first is the file. Now this is a very good file actually better than the original because it doesn't have that coating on it. This is a very good aggressive pattern on the cross cut and very nice file on the single cut as well. Decent length able to really bear down on whatever you're trying to file through or file on and no complaints about the file. It does not have an edge file like you're gonna find in other models of different multi-tools but that's really not a deal breaker for me either it's designed as a cross cut and single cut file and for that purpose it works very well next to the file we have the awl now the awl on this does not have an eyelet but for what this tool is designed for more on the construction site or the fabrication shop you really don't have a need for an eyelet I can't remember the last time that somebody needed to pierce through and sew on a construction site. The file, it's, or excuse me, the awl itself is very sharp. I like this awl a lot. Works well as a reamer and will penetrate through just about anything that you want to get through. Very good functional functioning awl. The next tool over is another carryover from the original center drive and that is the pry tool and combination bottle opener. Now this tool I found uses for it. The problem is, is I think it's a little bit short for its intended use. If it were maybe 50 percent longer or even a little bit longer than that it would allow you to get a lot more leverage to use this as a little nail puller and pry tool. I don't hate it I just I would have rather have seen instead of this super wide pry tool. I would rather have seen maybe a straight blade uh, to use as a pry tool and possibly add in maybe a carryover from Gerber Center, uh, excuse me, their, their Gerber Dime where it has that nice package opener, make it a little bit more robust and add it into this particular multi-tool. I don't hate this tool, I just don't have that much use for it either. The last tool in the interior tools that we have 
are a set of Fisker scissors. Now Fisker, which owns Gerber, make very high quality scissors. These scissors are extremely sharp, work well for cutting cardboard paper. The problem is with these scissors, because of the design, this particular design, they've put the longest possible handle they can that will clear the lock mechanism for the interior tools. So it does not give you a very large handle to cut with. So if you're cutting through something that's a little more aggressive, say uh, paracord or if you're trying to get through maybe a, a larger zip tie, it tends to be hard on your thumb. It really digs into your thumb. It's not extremely comfortable when you're trying to cut through something that's a little more aggressive. They also were not able to give us a little flat spot here, maybe a break that would allow that to be a little bit more comfortable. For light duty applications, they work extremely well. They're very sharp. They're very well made. It's just they, they're not able to give us a longer handle. And really, that's my only complaint with the scissors themselves. Then on the other side of the multi-tool on the interior, we have the holder for the additional bit that it carries on board with the center drive, which I kind of like that it has an onboard bit there. The only thing that I would have liked better is if Gerber maybe could have integrated and made all of their bits double-sided. I think that would have been a lot better, but it does give you the ability to use any standard bit that you want, and so that is an added plus as well. Overall, I really like the design concept behind the Center Drive Plus. There are a couple of reasons that I can't recommend it though. The first of which is the carbide cutters. Now, if Gerber were to make some 154 CM replaceable cutters that would be replacements for those, this, that would make this multi-tool a lot, lot better. The second reason is because this is a pretty high price tool. This is $140 the last I checked, and it doesn't come with a premium blade steel. Now, if Gerber were to have replaceable cutters and they would give us a premium blade for the main blade along with the new leather case I think that it would it would actually be worth its value then maybe still a little overpriced but if they were to give us a premium blade steel and fix those carbide cutters that would be a huge improvement the fact that they took out that terrible terrible serrated blade and replaced it with a good set of Fisker scissors is a huge advantage Overall, the concept behind the center drive is good. I just can't fully recommend it. One of the biggest ways that I think that Gerber could improve this particular design is if they got away from the sliding plier mechanism and made this a butterfly style. By doing that, they would eliminate the slide mechanism and get rid of the large tool release on this side then they would be able to add maybe an additional slot on the outside of this handle and this handle to either move the file and maybe give us a saw and then still have some decent interior implements i think that would be a big improvement and i would really like to see gerber do that to keep the center drive concept with that outside accessible driver but to change the configuration of it just a bit I think that would make a much better multi-tool. They're making strides in the right direction. I just don't think they're quite there yet. My name is Ben, and you've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the Gerber Center Drive Plus, and I hope to see you in the next one.